Hey there. <laughs> Hope your week has gone pretty good. Actually, I hope your week has gone excellent. My week has gone pretty good is what I was trying to say there. Um, happy end of June. Oh my God. Oh my God. End of June. Wow. Okay. So this month flew by. I think these videos are probably making it fly by a little bit faster. I feel like they're flying by faster. But then again, as you age, the days go by faster. You work all day and have little time to enjoy the rest of life so the days just fly faster and faster every time anyway um excuse me the 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 usual stuff running errands and all that kind of stuff so not a whole lot of um exciting things to share hopefully this week you know with fourth july in there we'll have a little bit of um you know, some fun. At the very least, want to take the dogs to the dog park one of the days and possibly, you know, explore something, something else around town. So, um, yeah, the 4th of July is on a Thursday. That's awkward. And then I go back to work on Friday for one day. I think that because of our patriotic holiday that here in America that we will be celebrating, I have an idea of a theme of the bag of the week and the fragrances. There's one fragrance I pull out during the holidays, quote unquote, and we will talk about that when we get over there. Um, spirit fingers, you know, the wear and tear not so great um but s enjoyed wearing that for the week so we will find something in a red white or blue or all of the above tones we'll see we'll see what we do maybe we'll do a skittles mani or something um if you don't know what that is it's where you do multiple like a different nail a color a different color in every on every nail and you know just some kind of uniqueness so we will figure something out and i will poke poke around my collection over there so we'll pick up the fragrance we will um we will feature the pugs this week because i just noticed that i haven't been showing you on my doggies and it reminded me that there is a subscriber and i haven't heard from her in a while i hope you're okay anna i know you were dealing with some health issues and i hope I hope you're okay. So, um, Anna, hi. And um, I haven't seen you around, so, yeah, a little worried about you. But, you know, I also know we all have a life. So, if, you know, you can't stop by regularly and say hi, I, I can't stop by and regularly and say hi to, my, to anybody I watch. So, I, I appreciate when you can, but I am also thinking about you if... Um, things aren't going okay. So I don't, you know, only think about you when you, um, comment, you know, I think about everybody all the time. If you've shared something, you know, I'll pop into my mind, um, randomly here and there. So I take our community seriously and I appreciate all of you for being around and spending time with me because, you know, you don't have to, and I appreciate that. So I just, you know, enjoy having you all around so um we will get into that side of the room deal with the swapping out and then we'll come back and wrap it up at the end and i promise i will find some footage uh, about the dogs <laughs> so those of you that come for dolly pickles and bamboo even um they will be in this week's footage so back I turn off the overhead light turn off turn on the overhead light because it's a little bit gloomy outside I think it's just clouds are just happen to be going over at this time but it's just not as bright in here as it usually is oh my gosh can I stop yawning good lord I am so sorry um, so here we were for last week and I have you on a different tripod today and I'm not sure it's any better, but 
you know, I just thought I'd be a little bit hands-free. So I did use everything on the tray this week. I tended to favor these three. I did my contremois one day because I'm very stingy with it, being that I'm almost, you know, half a bottle and that's the last of the, I'll ever have of it. Um, so I just did that one day to indulge wanting to use it. Um, this one, as I mentioned, um, tobacco vanilla, um, vanilla, excuse me, is very, um, heavy with its smoke. Um, I shouldn't say smoke. It's just, it's just that tobacco scent. So cigar, you know, it's a, it's a very spicy, heavy scent. So it's just not typically one I would use this time of the year. I mean, it smells fabulous. So if you, if you're one of those folks that likes the smell of cigars when they're not lit, like, you know, just the, how they smell, um, you will love that scent. I, I think it's fabulous on, I like wearing it, but I think it's fabulous on men as well. So it's a very good unisex, um, fragrance. It just smells so good. Um, so one day, one day, and then we spent the rest of the week in this. So whispers of truth is what I put into this atomizer. And then I had the pink pepper from K. Ollie. And then this is actually the one that I wore for two and a half days, I believe. I, yeah, I know I put it on to supplement something and I'm trying to remember if I supplemented this one or this one I can't remember now one of the days that I wore um these two fragrances I decided I don't know why I just I love the way this Van Cleve's um Glen Van Cleef and Arpels fragrance smells it just oh it's it's wonderful so I really enjoy the the scents on it. I will um, insert the, and I probably already did as I'm talking, um, insert the flavor, flavor, oh my god, insert the, um, the notes so you know what that is. And I ended up picking this up from Joma Shop at an incredibly um, decent price. I'm hoping to someday visit one of their boutiques and see what their other fragrances smell like, um, maybe in Chicago in October, but that is this what was this week's, um, past week's fragrance tray, and we're going to pick out something new. Okay, we're back at the fragrance counter, and I'm going to go this way to this way. We are going to start off with a couple of Kaoli fragrances. I'm going to come back to Deja Vu because I'm not giving it enough of a chance. Um, it's a floral, so, um... Yeah, that's usually why, because it's just a little bit much. But given the rest of this tray, I think it will work out. So uh, Vanilla Floral, Deja Vu. Then we're going to have this uh, Love, no, Eden. S Juicy Apple Eden from Kaali. I picked up Love Fest first, but I was just like, I just did Lost Cherry not too long ago. So I want to do Apple um, because 4th of July, Apple's. I don't know, just something about it. it seemed all American apple pie. Um, and then this one is Holiday by House of Siage. And I love to bring out Holiday on all of our holidays. Um, it's, for me, a very clean, crisp scent. And I actually love it the most in the winter. Um, I don't know why. It's just very refreshing and very clean. And I just really enjoy it. But I still, I just, I don't know, it's tradition. Every holiday, I bring this out. So it's just, it is what it is. I didn't bring it out at Memorial Day, which I thought was odd. Because I said every holiday, I, I try to bring this out. And I just completely spaced it because I was trying to get through all the fragrances that I had on the tray. And I forgot to use this one. So I am bringing it out for this holiday. This one is uh, trend number eight. It's called Retro Pop. Um, it's definitely more um, spicy floral than 
I like, but I don't mind it. And the bottle is just really cute. Little it's just really summery and really fun. So little sunglasses. Reminds me of the, the Barbie, um, the 1950s Barbie with the, the striping down there. I don't know, just something about it. Just gives me that kind of Barbie. So haven't worn that one in I don't even ha know how long. A long time, probably at least a year, maybe even since I got it. So a year and a half at least. Maybe in 22. Wow. I don't even remember when I bought it. A long time. A very long time. And then this one is my most recent fragrance edition, Cour Baton, uh, Beating Heart in English. And yeah, I got it in the travel spray version. So I have it loaded into the atomizer and that will be the final item on the tray. So a lot of smaller travel type bottles, even though I'm not going anywhere um, that I know of this week. Not going in the office, but who knows? Maybe 4th of July we'll take a road trip. We'll see. I don't know. Okay, so I mentioned Spirit Fingers was our one of last week. And I was kind of thinking about something reasonably patriotic which would mean, you know, red, white, and blue. So I have a white. I have a lot of blue. I have a few reds. This is more of a black red. That's a true red. And then these are glitters, like jellies. So... And then there's this one, of course, too, kind of a cranberry red. So the question is, do we do all one manicure or one nail and like every color? Do we do red, white, blue? Like that. five fingers on each hand. <laughs> I mean, I have enough that I could do one nail in like every, every color of the world, but ooh, this is going to be difficult. Stay tuned to the end. I will figure out which one I'm going to go with. The sun has joined us briefly. So the girls are solar charging, right? Mamas, you're in your favorite spot. The brown grass is extra cozy. Go back to take a nap. So I switched into my sundress and this little one. <laughs> Sorry to give you a, a horrible view, but I decided to come over and sit on my chairs in the shade. And this one was like, oh, you're sitting, mom. Let's go sit. Let's go sit on you. Over by our fake lawn. Nothing grows over here except for like weeds. So we decided to install a fake lawn and the dogs love it. So we just like to hang out over here and do our thing. Right, mamas? Darling mama? Darling mama? <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah, you're a beautiful little one, right? Oh, you're so pretty. <sighs> yeah, she still has her little pimple. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're the dolly. Yeah. You're the prettiest little mama. You are. You're the prettiest little mama. I love you. Well, Miss Farah has been a lovely companion this week. It is time to move on for now. For now. We are going to move into something 
very summer-like because we have a whopping, you know, maybe two months of summer here in Oregon. So we are going to get everything out of here. I'm going to spare you the minutia of me taking everything out. I'm going to grab the next bag of the week. I've already got it picked out because again, like I said, we have a whopping like two months of summer here in Oregon and likely we'll get some rain at some point. Although the forecast uh, for later this week, I believe even the 4th of July is like 90 or 98 degrees. So yeah, here it comes. Okay, my friends, we have chosen the Speedy 25 in Damier Azul for, I would say the summer because that's, this is the only time I can use her, but um, it's going to be for right now. And then I'm just going to put her on the shelf and probably circle back into her a couple of times, but I just really wanted to carry her and wanted to follow up on these Amazon um, holders that are inserts that I picked up on sale. So this was the one that seemed a little bit sketchy. Um, it does still seem really kind of eh in quality. It's a really weird felt. Um, can't even describe the texture, but I figured, you know what? Um, I want to have something I can throw in every single bag and just leave in there for good. So it'll do. So it's going to go in here. This goes inside the middle as a divider. I will worry about that in a second here. I don't think I'm going to use the exterior pockets here, but I wanted to have one for in here. It should fit just fine. Let's, let's go. do that. I'm going to spare you loading it up this week, but I just kind of want to pop in this and show you that aspect. So pop that sucker right in and it's perfect as far as the size. This was a medium, I believe. And I'll link the one I bought. Yeah, so that went in there perfectly. I'm going to put this part in and attach it. So it gives it a little bit more structure. So there, I've got a lot more. Sorry, there we go. A lot more shape in there for good and I'm going to load it back up with the essentials. I might even swap out, go get my pochette accessoire in Damier Azure instead, but I'm not sure. I like to carry that as its own bag, so I may or may not. Anyway, I'm going to fill it back up and I will come right back. Okay, I filled her up and I didn't swap out the pochette. Um, just to use all the same stuff I've been using. I have my phone here on that wall. Let's see if I can do like that. Show you a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit tighter than I remember the 25 being. Maybe it's the insert that's doing it. But I was trying to put these sunglasses in there and it's like a really tight fit. So I might need to grab um, my foldable ones or find a different case for these. But I was hoping to carry these this week because they're red, you know, they're blue and white. And, you know, I just wanted to wear something cute and I was driving myself insane because I swore I had a red white and blue bandeau but apparently I'm misremembering ones I had purchased I have a Christmas one that's red and white but not red white and blue so I'm just losing it I have my Pisces one that's blue I have a bunch of pink ones. I don't know why I thought I bought a red, white, and blue 
one from LV. I think I was just thinking about it and I just never pulled the trigger, but I could have sworn I had one. But that's going to be the bag of the week. Speedy 25. Damia is Yoa. And with the weather being what it's going to be this week, it should be a very beautiful carry. I need to wrap the handles though. So I'm going to pick up something to keep the handles clean. That is the, that is the bag of the week. Well, I hope that your Saturday has gone smashing <laughs> fabulously. We've had a, you know, eventful day around here. I've done my manicure. It is um, interesting. So yeah, did some little pokey dotties here and there. I just basically did red, where did, I, where did I start here? Red, white, blue, red, white. <laughs> so that I ended up with going in order. So Skittles Manny used Royalty Blue, uh, Milky White, and what is this one? Naughty List from the Christmas collection. Did those and then just, you know, free-handed some artwork. I might do a little bit on the blue, but we'll see. Anyway, I thought it was fun. It's festive. Whatever. Fourth of July. Yay. <laughs> I hope this week is great for you. I hope if you're in the States, you get a lovely holiday off and the fireworks do not um, annoy your animals the way they're going to annoy my animals. So they're going to be, it's going to be fun keeping them calm while all the fireworks go off. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.